Welcome back to the channel. Thank you to everybody that liked and subscribed to the last video. Today, we're doing a Father's Day special. One v one dad versus daughter. Um, should be pretty entertaining. Hope you guys like it. That one. Oh, finally. That's a big one. <sighs> I lost my bait. Ooh. Getting a bite. Yep. Copy. That's a huge one. It is a big one, huh? <laughs> Their fins on the side are like hands. They're like, how many? Do you need me to get the pliers? No, I get it. Watch yours. Where's my other one? Oh, it's right there. I actually did need you to get the pliers. Watch your, watch your barber. You could probably throw yours out again. Throw it out there more. Got one. No. Ooh. That's a good cast right there already. Do you need the pliers? No. There's fish out there, I almost just had one. God dang it. Oh, I got another bite. That's a good one. Yeah. Another big one. Oh and it's hammers today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That looks like an old one. It's an old little fella. Ooh, that's a big one. What does that mean? It's a big one. Can I have that? Yeah, I'm just taking the hook out of this. Eddie, no. Oh. I have 
Okay, that's good. Let go. We need to get Addy on the board here. Hold on, wait for me to get this puppy on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold mine. I can hold uh, a, a rod. I thought I had two. That's why I was looking for the other one. I'm going to throw yours out here again in a second. Watching your bobber? Mm-hmm. From over here it looks like the mini brand of Alright, really really yours in, I'm gonna throw it back out. I don't even pay attention. Pick your rod tip up and reel your line in because you got a lot of line out again. That's a good one. Can I have the the um net? Yeah the net. I'm what pretty sure it? that's catfish. <laughs> Watch your pull. Watch your pull. Why don't they get the fish like the bait? Sound like a deer or a reindeer. Ew. Ew. What is that? Poop. Ew, did you catch him when he was peeping? Ew! Watch. Ew! He's about to poop in the boat. Watch your, um, 
Watch your bobber. Is that its butt? I don't know. Do ducks only eat like small fish? I mean. Do they not eat like crappie or like? Uh, no, they don't eat uh big fish generally. What? Well, folks, Addy and Dad update. I've got five crappie and a catfish, so it looks like Dad's going to take it today. Uh, that's uh, your update for now. Oops, I'm under. Oh, you got one! I think so. Yes. It's right behind you, Eddie. No, I just threw mine over there. Throw it over there, Eddie. Over to the... Over there. Look at me. Over there. I got back on him, baby. So like over there? Yep. Like right over there. Let's get right there. <laughs> They're gonna have a new friend. I feel like I have that string you use a whole bunch of What are you doing, Eddie? You almost hooked me in the face.
All right, guys. So, first part of this video is over. We're about to head back to the house. Um, show you the fish, and then we'll put the fish on ice for 24 hours, and then we'll start the second half of the video. Uh, get them flayed up, get them cooked up. Show you how we do that, and uh, right, see what's going on. We're back at the house. Let's uh, check out the damage here. Look at all them fish. Yes. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crappie, and then three old cats. What's going on everybody? We're in the kitchen. So we're going to be doing two different recipes today. Uh, first one, ceviche. I never made it with this uh, crappie fish, so we're going to try it out. Second one is Frank's basic breading, deep fried, my kids love it. So first, onion, tomatoes, lime, cilantro, and then we'll cook the fish. You can either cook the fish or you can uh, use the lime juice. The acid from the lime will cook the fish. You gotta wait a little bit longer. I'm impatient and I love to eat food because I'm fat, so. You can also add jalapeno to this, but my kids are gonna be eating it and uh, they don't like spicy food, so. It's just totally up to you. Cutting up food. You can come over here and turn the skillet on for me. You wanna mince your cilantro up. As, as small as you, uh, as high as it goes. 420? Yep. When you cook your fish, the way we're co cooking, we're going to cook it blackened. Um, you can use, we use tequila lime by Blackstone. The kids like that for our tacos. And we use blackened sriracha rub by uh, Pit Boss. It's another very good flavor. Um, if you like things spicy, I suggest using the sriracha. If you don't, tequila lime is very flavorful and it's mild enough so that the kids will eat it too. Um, you wanna, it's essentially flash cooking the fish because you want to cook it real quick. So we got it on the plate. So we're going to use all, all the blackened seasoning for this recipe. It goes good with just about any, any kind of chip, but I recommend using lime chips. Tastes the best and I love lime chips. Like I said, you want to get your griddle as hot as possible. You're going to use some butter. You can use whatever you want, but butter is the best. Like I said. And again, recipes vary between everybody. I mean, you can put your own take on it. But uh, I cook my fish. Like You can cook it with the lime. You don't have to. You only have to cook your fish until uh, it turns white. That's how you know. Generally, fish is done cooking. We use three lines. <coughs> coronavirus! Coronavirus! Oh, 
Just kind of fork the fish, get it all mushed up. Now the next part, I'm going to be uh, deep frying the crappie. We just got it in some frags after we let it sit in water for about an hour. Let it sit in frags for another half hour or so. And then we're using the open season coating mix by Cabela's. Um, you could really use anything you want. Flour, cornmeal, spices, whatever. This has uh, flour, uh, it says spices, salt, yellow corn flour, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. It's just really whatever you want for taste. Once your uh, fryer gets heated up, it'll just... Want to coat it real quick, dump it in the fryer. You don't want to leave it in the coating because it'll become clumpy and then it'll come off in the fryer. So you want to do it as soon as you put it in the breading mix, you want to put it in the fryer so it flash fries it and it tastes better. You'll know when your oil is ready, you put, take a little bit of your coating mix, dip it in the oil, and it starts to sizzle, it's ready to go. The fryer is ready, got our fish in our franks. Like I said, you don't want it to, to sit in the bread coating too long. The franks is used as our uh, kind of binding agent for all you science freaks out there. <laughs> When your fish starts to float, that's how you know it's done. Um, this first batch is going to be what not to do because uh, the oil obviously was not hot enough and the bread, the coating did not stick. So, okay. this one should be a little bit healthier. This is how your fish is supposed to look when you cook it. Oh, nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. So here's the final product. Looks good. Tastes good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, like and subscribe below. Hit my Instagram and my Facebook channels. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, I'll link the products that I use in this video down below. <laughs> and I'll... Products will be linked below. I'll also put the recipes in there if you want to try them at home. The products that I use, the seasonings that I used. Um, again, thank you. And until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>